It's sports ball. Draft Day, released in 2014 and is directed by Ivan Reitman, who's also directed such films like Meatballs, Ghostbusters, Twins, and Kindergarten Cop. It's not a tumor, okay? It's not a tumor, God! And this film is starring Kevin Costner, Jennifer Garner, Dennis Leary, Frank Langella, Sam Elliott, Ellen Burstyn, and Chadwick Boseman. The next NFL draft is 12 hours away, and Sonny Weaver, who is the general manager of the Cleveland Browns, is struggling to make a splash to impress his boss and to build the next team that he wants to be managing. So as trade offers start raining in from the Seahawks and other NFL teams, and Sonny accepts these outrageous trades, he starts questioning the reason why they've made them and starts game planning ways of how he can salvage his team. And we're watching this film today because I'm trying to get back into the randomizer idea that I had for this channel many years ago. Now when I started getting recommendations and people sending over donations to me, that kind of got put to the side, but here I'm trying to maybe once a week or maybe every other week try to do a random film from my shelf that I've been missing out on or film that I've never watched before but for some reason that I own. This is one of them. I've never watched this film before. I believe I got it for like a dollar on a Black Friday sale or something like that. And I remember seeing a lot of previews and a lot of trailers for this film when it came out but no one really talking about it afterwards. And I think this film rubbed a lot of people the wrong way in particular people who are actual football fans. In my opinion what happened is that people had the idea that we were going to see some actual sporting events and some actual football games in this film when this film has nothing to do with the actual sport of football. This is all happening on the business end. This is all happening on the biggest most important day when it comes to the general managers of a football team, Draft Day. Now, I'm not the biggest football fan. I don't obsess over it. I don't have to be watching it every single weekend. The only sport that I'm obsessed over is actual football. I guess here in the States it would be called soccer. Liverpool all the way, baby! So for me, I don't need to have the actual sporting event happen in this movie. I actually prefer when we get these sports movies about the business side of things. Moneyball is a great example of a film that it's about baseball, but it's more about the business side of baseball and the business side of running a team. And I feel like this film really wants to be Moneyball, but with the NFL, and it doesn't really live up to that dream. But I do find this story intriguing and these business deals that are being made from team to team and company to company and then Kevin Costner's character second guessing this first round draft pick that everyone's saying that he needs to make this Bo Callahan quarterback character apparently he's the best up and coming quarterback that you could possibly get so for them to be the number one draft pick yeah of course we're gonna pick this guy he's the best one right but Sonny has a gut feeling that this person is not worth it he has his own ideas of what he wants to do it's just no one else in his war room no one else on his team no one else who is part of this company company that he's working for sees the vision that he has. I like stories like that. I like stories of a person that has this idea or has this vision that no one else can see. And this person who is in a role of authority is trying to get that vision across to everyone else. So I really did find this film intriguing. Where this film falls short for me, though, is that it's not a true story. It's based on actual events and actual football teams that we have here in our world. But the characters, the general managers, the football players who are being traded don't exist. They've never existed. So there's this weird split of reality and fiction that sometimes it meshes well, but then other times I'm thinking, no, this doesn't actually really happen. So maybe I need to watch it again and just tell my brain that this is a multiverse. This is an alternate reality where these characters do exist with the Cleveland Browns and the Seattle Seahawks and these trades are being made with these actual players. And maybe that's what everyone else needs to do when you go into this film. Please know that these are all fictional characters. These are not actual people. This is not a true story. This is just a made-up idea of what a draft day could be. I never really understood the appeal of draft day either. I have friends who will sit in front of their phones and sit in front of the TV the entire time they go through this entire draft. I'm thinking, why? Why do you care? It's not a sport. These are business deals going down, and they're treating these players like they're cattle. Ah, we're gonna trade him. Ah, we're gonna buy him for 96 million. Ah, we're gonna buy him. Oh, we're gonna trade him. Going once, going twice. Sold! Read into that what you will. Kevin Costner, I do enjoy in this film. I actually do enjoy him in his later years. When he was younger and he was directing films like Dances with Wolves, sometimes I get the sense that he could be a little pretentious. But him as a performer works so well in these like late 40s, early 50s type characters where he's past his prime, he is in those 
just before grandpa years or just starting out grandpa years. He feels like a man who has seen things and whenever you have an essence about you like that it adds so much gravitas to an older character's role. I don't want to say older, he's like late 40s, early 50s, was not old by any means, but you get what I'm saying. Now I was pleasantly surprised about some of the supporting cast that we had in here. I had no idea that Chadwick Boseman was in this film so when he popped up as one of the main characters like football characters who are being sold and traded off I was so happy like yes more Chadwick Boseman I miss that guy and he's great in this film he's hard-headed he believes in himself he's kind of tough in places where he shouldn't be but then he's also emotional and he is soft in moments that well if you watch the movie you'll see what I'm talking about and one of the biggest surprises is that Superman himself shows up in here Tom Welling who plays Superman in Smallville a TV show that I was obsessed with oh my god he has another acting chance in this film he did something outside of Smallville this is shocking to me is it the best performance no but he gets his point across I just thought it was awesome to see this character who was on this TV show for 10 years probably 11 years with all the production and I've never seen him in anything else. I think he was in a couple of movies throughout his career in Smallville but to see him actually in a movie outside of Smallville I thought it was great. When this film is about the business deals I think it shines. I really enjoy those aspects but then this film tries to be dramatic. It tries to be overly dramatic, melodramatic I guess when we have characters like his mother and his ex-wife coming in with his father's ashes because the reading of his father's will was that day and his will was for his ashes to be spread over the practice field and for Gaelic chants to be said. And of all days you pick draft day which is the most important day for a general manager to keep his head in the game and to make trades back and forth you want him to break away from that and then do this something that could be done any other day but here we're doing it on draft day okay ma we had a lot of situational happenings in this film to fluff up this film a little bit to give it way more dramatic moments than really what it called for you want to scatter his ashes of all days on draft day where i am the most busy Fuck you, Ma. In the end, I was entertained by Draft Day. I was into this story. I had no urge to turn up the playback speed. I had no urge to walk away from my seat. I was fully invested, and I wanted to see where all these business deals were going. Is it overly dramatic? Yes. Is the acting the best that you've ever seen? No, it's not. Is this a revolutionary story that's going to stick with you? Not at all. But in the moment, I thought it was very intriguing. I'm going to give Draft Day 3 out of 5 Blu-rays. Not exactly what I had in mind, but not bad. So guys, if you've seen Draft Day, what did you think about it? Or if you've never seen it before and you stumbled across it because of this video, then comment below and let me know what you thought about it. And as always, if you like what you see here, if you like my take on movies, then hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell so you know the next time I release next movie review. So guys, I will see you next time on the channel, but in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.